All right, guys, we're just going to jump right into it. So this is my design that I'm going to be filing off. It's a 3D nail art, and we're going to do something a little bit different. So here I am taking my taper barrel carbide nail bit. I think I actually have this in the grit of fine. That's just my preference, just because it's a good bit, and I don't like to go too sharp if I don't have to. So here I am just filing off, so I'll just let you continue watching it. Turn that to games, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to games, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own. So when it comes to prepping the nail, this is always, always an absolute must. You must always push back your cuticles. I don't care if you get a filling every two weeks or you just have cuticle maintenance. You know, you do it every day. Always push it back because that's extra nail growth that you have to work with as far as nail art and stuff. So I never, ever skip this step. All right, here I'm going in with the 180 grit sanding band um, to go around. And all I'm doing is I'm filing around the new growth. And all I'm doing is helping remove the shine so that the acrylic can adhere better. If you skip this step, this is why you'll have lifting. They'll even pop off. So I highly recommend this step. This is just something you cannot skip at all. Here I'm spraying down with some alcohol. This is why I use as in place of a, an actual nail dehydrator. I find that ice purple alcohol works just as well. So I'm just going in there and I'm just cleaning up where it's all dusty and everything. And like I said, I think it works just as well as using a nail dehydrator. And it's a lot cheaper too. So here I will be going in with the No Lines uh, Fill Eraser from Mia Secret. Basically it helps blend the acrylic into the new growth. Same idea as if you used a file to blend in and with your new growth. Um, this kind of helps with that. I do the blending with the file and then I use this. And together it's just a great combination. You really get the... I think you get the best results when you use this product right here. And then the next thing we're going to be going in is with the uh, Mia Secret Extra Bond Primer. Love this stuff. It's a no-burn primer. Um, so what I do is I just place it on the new growth. You do not need to put it on the, the acrylic product. There's no reason to. So you just need to put it on there on the new growth. And I will actually let this set go to my other hand. And then I'll go back and do a second coat of this. Just to make sure, you know, everything is right on point. So here I'm going in with my first bead of acrylic. I use Cover Pink by Young Nails and the Mia Secret Monomer. It, honestly, I think it's a great combination. It, they just work so well together. Here I applied my first bead. Not the best application just because I'm trying to film it, but if you just watch, you'll see my technique that I do. always do. It'd be at the cuticle area. Bring it down the nail. And then you'll see me here shortly. I'm going to check the side of it to make sure there's a nice apex, make sure there's no dips or anything. And I, you just kind of got to look around your nail just to see where you need to add the acrylic. Because you can have the same method, do it every time, but you'll still can miss places and, you know, everything factors in. The temperature, just anything and everything. So, but yeah, this is how I do and I'll just let you keep watching.
A few moments later. Come on, Bob. Bob, stop. Bob was mad because I didn't give him a bottle this morning. I gave him cat feed. And he stayed at my door. And he proceeded to poop out of anger. Why do you poop out of anger, Bob? It's not always about you. Ew, you're so gruesome. It's over! You can't get up, Bob! Go away! Yeah, so that's Bob. I had to stop and feed him. But anyway, here we are. This after I have put on the acrylics. So I'm going to go in, file, and shape him. And then here we are. I am. I was starting to do my design and showing you what I did. But unfortunately, my power went off during this. How lovely is that? So anyway, here I'm making... A little ghost face. I'm in the mood for Halloween. I love Halloween. So this is how I do it. And I will show you the end result in just a second. Here's the finished look. I love it. I think it's super cute. I just love Halloween. So let me know what you think below and I'll see you next time.